Hey guys, it's Natalie Demina. Welcome or welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you do not know who I am, I'm a Roman Catholic YouTuber and I do YouTube videos on all things Catholicism. So if you're Protestant, Catholic, or whoever you are, you are welcome here. So for today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys 10 ways you should live your life as a Christian according to Pope Francis. But before I get into today's video, make sure you guys like and subscribe down below and make sure you go follow me over on Instagram at Natalie underscore Domina for more Catholic content. And down in the description, you can sign up for my monthly newsletter over on my link tree and make sure you go listen to my podcast, Sign of Contradiction with Natalie Domina over on Spotify. Um, without further ado, let's get on with today's video. So just a little context for this video. I stumbled across the resolutions of Pope Francis for 2015, and I thought it would be really interesting to make a video on them. According to Pope Francis, what he thinks is important that we should resolve to do this next year. I'm going to go in depth in each one of them, explain how you can do that. So stick around and I hope you guys enjoy. So the very first one that he puts on the list is don't gossip. I think many of us fall into this trap, whether in our school community or workplace, it's so easy to gossip. It's so easy to spread rumors about people. It's so easy just to open up other people and their lives to others, even though we don't have the right authority to. There's so many different sins that even go along with gossip, like calumny, which is spreading lies about other people, or detraction, where you're spreading stuff that you don't really have the right to share. So I think it's really important that we look at the sin of gossip as something that is detrimental to our relationship with others and our relationship with God and even the way we view ourselves. I have a bunch of quotes here from the saints that I just want to read off on things that they had to say about gossip. Saint Padre Pio says that when you gossip about a person, you remove the person from your heart. And he says to be aware because when you remove man from your heart, you also remove Christ with the removal of the man. St. Mother Teresa says that when you speak, put all your love and sweetness into the words, or if you can't do that, ask our Lord to speak through you. Ask our Lord to be in the person, let you see the person that you're speaking to. When you have problems with someone, she says to say, Jesus, be now in this person. When I speak to him and help me to see you in them. Bless me so that I may speak to them as I would speak to you. St. Jose Maria Scriva says that after seeing so many people Blah, 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 basically is what he says. He says, wagging and wagging and wagging, talking about gossip. He says, I'd rather just be alone and sit in the silence. He says, silence is more preferable to him and more necessary more than ever. He also says, you have so many defects, so why would you not expect others to have defects too? Our Holy Father, Pope Francis says that we should ask ourselves this question. What did I do with my life? Did I create unity around me or do I cause division by gossip, criticism, or envy? He also says that gossip is a bad thing. In the beginning, it may seem enjoyable and fun, but in the end, it fills our hearts with bitterness and poisons us too. So gossip is definitely not a good thing and not something that we should be partaking in. Number two, Pope Francis says to finish your meals. I think this is really important because we leave so much to just be wasted in our culture. I think we're very throw away culture we, we just consume as much as we can or don't we just take everything for us and then we decipher if it's worth our time or not but i don't think that's the way to live so finish your meals eat what's on the plate before you don't always be looking for the next best thing number three he says make time for others so much of our life is just centered on me 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 but make time for others number four he says make the more humble purchase I think this could be applied to when you're going out to a store. Maybe you don't need to buy the name brand stuff. Or if you're at a restaurant, maybe you don't need to get the most expensive meal. Or clothes, you don't need to get the most trendiest, cutest clothes. So really just always have humility at the front of your mind, but also use prudence on how to apply that humility to each situation. Number four, he says to meet the poor in the flesh. There's so many times that we just preach about the poor or try to help even financially, but how many times do we actually do physical contact? Like we're hand-to-hand -hand with the poor, face-to-face. -face. I definitely don't do this as much as I should, but I think that it would be very beneficial to help call to mind the humanity of the poor that we're helping. We all are poor anyway, but really to become face-to-face -face with them, realize that they are a man, they are alive, they're physical, they're real, they're spiritual beings, instead of more of a concept, and we are the poor. Number six is stop judging others. <laughs> I think like all these, we all fall into this, we judge others literally just by their appearance, what they're wearing or anything. And if people have different beliefs than me, I'm always like, well, this, 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 like because of this, this reason, and I'm just judging. I think that Pope Francis is calling us to take a step back and to be 
You're like, hey, people can have different opinions than you. That's okay. You need to love them through that. You need to pray for them if they might not be on the path to holiness. But it's not up for you to judge. Christ is the only judge. <laughs> we are the same as everybody else, fallen human creatures. So we have no right to judge others. Yes, we can judge their sins and we should pray for the people, but we have no right to judge them and why they choose the things they do because why do we choose the sins we do? I don't know. Evil isn't logical. Number seven I really like is befriend those you disagree with. I think many times we try to polarize and to start little groups of slander maybe or calumny or gossip, whatever you want to say. When you don't like someone, you just want to create these little sections and stay away from that person. But Pope Francis calls us to bring unity. If there's a problem, befriend the person, talk to them, pray about it, bring their needs and petitions to our Lord in the Eucharist in adoration instead of making little groups of division. You should always be trying to bring unity. So befriend those who you disagree with, talk to them because nothing is going to change if you don't. Number eight, he says to make commitments such as marriage. I think this is really good that we need so many more holy Catholic families because the home is the domestic church. That is where all vocations come out of. So make commitments, make a marriage. Don't just date someone for years and years and be like, oh, we don't need to get married. Just get married or else you shouldn't be with a person. So anyway, dating. So get married, just make decisions. I mean, obviously uh, off of God's will, follow his will. But if he's calling you to be a priest, make that commitment. If he's calling you to get married, plan for that commitment. I think that's a really good one that our society needs to hear. Stop being foolish, stop being a coward. Just make the commitment. Number nine is make it a habit to ask the Lord. So many times when someone asks us something, we say, oh, let me ask my mom first, let me ask my dad. But how many times do we say, hey, wait, let me ask my heavenly father. Not that often. So make a commitment to ask the Lord, make it a priority that his will is first in your life, no matter what. No matter if it makes you feel good, no matter if it makes others feel good, no matter what, if it's his will, then it's good for us. And it actually will be so much infinitely better than any of the other plans that we have. And number 10, he says to be happy, be joyful, love virtue, love doing the right thing, love following God's will. It's really important to remember that love, yes, it, it can be hard in the beginning, but true love, true perfect love is love that you do at ease and that is easy. If we think that it was so hard for Christ on the cross to do what he did, then it wouldn't be true love because true love, no matter what, like outside circumstances, beating our Lord, that doesn't even matter because he's doing it with ease and love. He's admitting to the cross because he loves us and it's so easy for him to because he just loves us that much. So be happy, just be joyful, love being a good person, love bringing Christ into the center of every conversation, into every place you enter, just love that. Okay, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure you like and subscribe down below if you haven't already. Please let me know any video recommendations that you want to see. If you like seeing more videos that have to do with maybe the mass or videos that help in dating culture or just more life issues, political issues, just let me know what your forte is. Vlogs, I haven't done a vlog in a while. You guys just let me know what you like to see. But anyway, I love you all so, so much. St. Francis, pray for us. Have a blessed day, y'all.